Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian Dean from Quick Sprout, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your Magento e-commerce site more SEO friendly. So your first step is to make sure that your title tags by default include either your brand name or some of your target keywords. To do that, log into your Magento admin panel, hover over system, and click on configuration. Then click on design. And then you wanna open HTML head. Now by default, the default title is Magento Commerce. And you obviously don't want that, right? So you wanna either delete this as your default title, or you can include a title suffix, like your brand name or a target keyword. So you put something like Quick Sprout. So then if you have a page, that's, let's say about, you know, buying t-shirts online, you'll have your brand name after that, okay? And if you want a default title for pages that you may not have set a custom title for, you can either put your brand name or a keyword. And the default description is the same story, right? You wanna include something that, if you haven't set anything for that page, they include something that makes sense. So you'd wanna put your brand name here as well. Now, under default keywords, you want to delete that, right? Because that meta keyword tag doesn't really do anything for you anymore. So you want to just delete those. And that's it. Once this is all set up, you basically have the foundation of your title tags good to go for your about page, your contact page, and then you can go into those later on and set those so they're very SEO friendly for your site. So once that's all set up, click on save config. Next, you want to make sure all the CMS pages on your site are SEO friendly. To do that, hover over CMS and click on pages. And then you wanna take a look at the pages that you already have on your site and see if they're SEO friendly. So for example, your title is your title tag, right? And you probably don't want that to be homepage. You probably want that to be your target keyword and you've already set the default title to include your brand name as a suffix, right? So right now this would be homepage quick sprout and you don't want that. So you'd wanna go in there and choose a title tag that makes sense for your site and is ideally a keyword that you're targeting. And I'll show you how to do that by adding a new page. To do that, click on add new page. Okay, so there are two very important on-page SEO elements to keep in mind as you add new pages to Magento. The first is your page title and the second is your URL key. So for your page title, you wanna make sure that, that includes a target keyword. So if you're adding a new category page for let's say flowers, You'd want to put flowers here and by default Magento will add your brand name at the end because that's the first step that we did in this video, right? So that's why you did that. So then you don't have to add your brand name every time that you add a new page. And then the URL key should include your target keyword. So it could be something like buy flowers or just your keyword flowers. Next, you want to head over to your content. And the content heading is also important for SEO because this is typically in an H1 tag. So what you'd wanna do is make that something similar to your title tag. Buy flowers online from us, right? And then you can add a little bit of content underneath uh, that's important for ranking pages, especially uh, e-commerce pages. You wanna add you know, 300 to 400 words of unique content to help that page rank. And then under design, you can usually leave this like it is for SEO purposes, but if you want, you can obviously make it empty or one column or whatever you want. And then you wanna head over to metadata and you wanna leave the keywords field blank because that doesn't really help you for SEO. And then as a description, you can include a compelling description to get people to click through. Now, your meta description isn't super important for SEO purposes, but it can help people click through to your result when they see it on the front page. So when you rank and you write something really compelling, like you can save 25% when you buy flowers from us, they're much more likely to click on your result. And you can also include your target keyword in the description so it's bold, which will make your page stand out even more. So once that's all set up, you wanna click on save page and you're all set. You just added a new SEO friendly page to your Magento e-commerce site. Next, you wanna make sure that you have a sitemap enabled so that Google can find all the pages on your e-commerce site. And a sitemap is especially important for e-commerce sites because you usually don't get any external links pointing to your product and category pages. So sometimes Google needs a little help finding them. To do that, hover over system and click on configuration and then click on Google sitemap. 
And then you want to scroll down to generation settings. And by default, Magento has a sitemap generation enabled as no, which means you will not generate a sitemap for your site. You obviously don't want that. So just make sure that this is set to yes. And the start time doesn't really matter. Okay, you can set that to whatever you want. The frequency does matter if you add or remove products or categories all the time. So if you're the type of e-commerce site that is always adding new products, like you're, you're a seasonal business or something like that, you may want to set that to daily, all right? at least during that time period, so then Google can quickly find those new pages that you add or remove. If not, if you pretty much sell the same stuff all year round, you can set this to weekly, all right? and it'll generate a new sitemap at this time weekly. Once that looks good to go, you want to click on save config and you're all set. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your Magento e-commerce site loads quickly. Not only is that important for user experience and conversions, but it can help you get higher rankings as well. To do that, hover over system and click on cache management. And you just want to make sure that all the cache types are set as enabled. And newer versions of Magento set these as enabled by default, but some older ones don't. Also, if you or a developer had maybe disabled them at one point and didn't enable them again, it may actually reduce the loading speed of your pages. So that's all there is to creating a SEO-friendly Magento e-commerce site. As you can see, you're basically applying the fundamental on-page SEO elements that work to your Magento e-commerce site. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.